This video is going to show you how to apply the concept of impulse to an example problem. Here's the problem. A car with a mass of exactly 1,000 kilograms starts from rest and travels to 25 meters per second in 10 seconds. After traveling some distance at a constant speed, the car applies the brakes and slows down to a stop in 5 seconds. Use impulse to find out how much force was used to stop the car. You could solve this problem with a combination of kinematics and Newton's second law, or kinematics and conservation of energy laws, but let's focus on applying impulse. The key concept we're going to apply is that the impulse to start the motion is equal and opposite to the impulse to stop the motion. Mathematically, this is j start equals negative j stop. So if I look at the initial givens, I've got the initial velocity, the final velocity, the mass, and I know that impulse is mass times change in velocity. So the impulse of the start is 1,000 kilograms times the quantity 25 minus 0, or 25,000 newton seconds. When the motion's over, I have a lot of givens, but I want to choose a formula that has force in it because that's what I'm after, force and time. So the impulse to stop is equal to force times time. So the stopping impulse is force times five seconds. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my concept of the impulse to start is equal and opposite the impulse to stop and put in my numbers. So 25,000 newton seconds is equal to negative force times five seconds. With this in mind, the final force is negative 5,000 newtons. The force is negative because the car is slowing down.